do not let in. Us was kicked out of Highgrove House for his silly act towards King Charles. King Charles III and the Queen Consort concluded their state visit to Germany on Friday the 31st of March. The couple toured the ruins of a Hamburg church bomb by the Allies during the Second World War, taking time in the rain to greet well-wishers after laying wreaths. His Majesty and Camilla also found time to enjoy beer at a food fair and watched a performance by a Beatles tribute band. Hamburg is closely associated with Liverpool and musicians, where they played one of their earliest professional gigs. Today, the King and Queen consort flew back to the UK and stayed at Highgrove House. A source close to the palace said it took Prince Harry a two-hour drive to get to Highgrove House in the hope of soliciting the King to accept his ludicrous demands on coronation. However, King Charles was too tired and wanted to relax after his trip. Many royal staff believe that Meghan forced her husband to come to the palace because that's like her working style. According to Elite's petition, Meghan and Harry won a good seat when they arrived for their father's big day. Harry and Meghan believe that King Charles will do the right thing and seat them prominently at his coronation, despite Harry's latest broadside at his family, who he accused in open court this week of inspiring in British newspapers and withholding information about phone hacking, specifically from him. If they do come, the non-working royals will be, as always, seated behind the working royals. No exception will be made, and royal protocol will be strictly capped, especially as foreign royals will be in attendance. The more the Harkels put out this crap, the more desperate and delusional they sound, and they really are shoved behind a pillar. They wouldn't still be demanding this crap otherwise. Also, no one on this earth thinks that the possibility of seeing Harry front and center at the coronation is relatable. They were not seated prominently for the Jubilee, and while they were given decent seating at the funeral, it was essentially because they seemed to have sat at the grandchildren in birth order by the parents, with tweaks to accommodate James as a minor and the fact that William clearly wanted to be nowhere near Harry. This, however, is not a family event, and Charles isn't the one planning this. It's the Duke of Norfolk's show, and he's not going to let these two steal the spotlight. Prince Harry may not have confirmed his attendance at King Charles's coronation yet, but his father has reportedly made a big decision regarding his role at the historic ceremony. As the Duke and Duchess of Sussex reportedly negotiate terms of attending the coronation, the Telegraph reported that organizers have now been forced to plan ahead for the events without Prince Harry. In fact, as per reports, King Charles has already made the decision to scrap Prince Harry's official role in the ceremony. According to the Telegraph, even if Prince Harry ultimately decides to attend, he will not take part in the royal tradition of Duke kneeling in front of the monarch to pay homage. He will instead watch his brother, Prince William, and heir to the throne from the royal gallery. The move comes after King Charles also made major amends to the Regency Act last year, making his siblings, Princess Anne and Prince Edward, his counselors of state, effectively demoting Prince Harry from his role as a potential stand-in for his father.